Apple's M2 iPad Pro is coming in just a couple of months, likely in October, and we just got some brand new leaks that are pointing to both some really good news as well as some pretty bad news. And it has to do with the amount of money that you're gonna spend on this new iPad Pro because Apple is doing a little bit of trickery, at least that's what it seems like based on this new leak, so let's jump right in. But before we get into those groundbreaking new leaks, I've gotta talk about something else Else that's groundbreaking and awesome. Our sponsor, Propella eBikes, who make lightweight and affordable pedal-assisted electric bikes, complete with compact and swappable battery packs and an LCD display to check your speed, battery life, and adjust the motor settings. And you can use a coupon code MAXTECH50 for $50 off using the link below. First of all, it has to do with the iPad Pro featuring a new four pin smart connector. Now, before I dig into those details, I have to talk about what we are expecting in terms of this new iPad Pro, where back in June, Mark Gurman from Bloomberg was saying that Apple's developing a redesigned iPad Pro with a glass back and wireless charging for 2022 in just a couple of months. Now, I do wanna mention that back in January, Apple was said to have hit a roadblock in their plans to redesign the iPad Pro with MagSafe because they had trouble with that glass back breaking. And because of that, some sources were saying that Apple could make an iPad Pro prototype that had a larger Apple logo, whereas the whole back isn't glass, just the logo itself, so we could kind of pass through that wireless charging power. And that kind of makes a lot of sense because the rest of the back is fully metal, so it's nice and strong and sturdy, and you just have the center portion with a larger Apple logo for reverse wireless charging and whatever else you want to do. Now, Mark Gurman did say once again in March that MagSafe charging is likely coming, so it is gonna be used some sort of wireless charging, of course, with the M2 chip that we already got in the MacBooks. And again, in June, he did confirm that it's debuting in September or October. And now with this fresh and new report on the iPad Pro, it looks like some things with the whole MagSafe wireless charging could actually be changing because I did not expect this to happen. Apparently, the new smart connector is gonna now have four pins instead of three, which is a big deal because it changes a lot of the other things we should expect with the iPad Pro. First of all, because the current three pin iPad Pro smart connector is used to connect different accessories like the Magic Keyboard. And the interesting thing is that the Magic Keyboard has a pass-through charging port within the hinge. But one of the things we noticed when we were testing it was that the iPad Pro charges quite a bit slower when you're using that port within the hinge compared to just plugging it into the iPad Pro itself, which kind of makes it disappointing if you know that it's slower because you definitely want to use the hinge port because it can't really pass through data, it just passes through charging, and you want to leave the iPad Pro port free for connecting accessories and whatever else, but you're gonna have slower charging. Now, what this means is that the new four pin connector is gonna accept more power, which hopefully it's gonna allow you to get the same charging speed on both the hinge port and the iPad Pro itself. But unfortunately, this means something totally different. If you already have the Magic Keyboard case for the current iPad Pro, which by the way is very expensive, 300 to 350 dollars just for this keyboard case with a trackpad, that keyboard case is not gonna work on the new iPad Pro, no. It's not gonna work because it has four pins compared to the current one that has three. So right away, Apple is gonna make you buy a new Magic Keyboard case even if you already have one for your iPad Pro. Despite the source, Maka Takara, saying that the new chassis for the 12.9 and 11 inch iPad Pros are gonna have the same design, the same size and everything. Apple is swapping that pen layout to force you to buy a new Magic Keyboard case, which is very unfortunate for people who are trying to save money. But it gets really crazy when you dig into this new leak and you see that they also mentioned a second new smart connector placed on the top of the iPad Pro as well, which doesn't make sense unless you look back at some of the older leaks, which we actually covered, like I made this video eight months ago, there were actually leaks of 
a MagSafe 3 connection on the iPad Pro. Yes, a physical one, just like the one on this MacBook Pro and the new MacBook Air, a wired MagSafe connector. And the crazy thing is we also had some leaked renders from many months ago of a four pin MagSafe connector on the bottom of the iPad Pro alongside the smart connector. Now that really shakes things up because I was expecting Apple to put in a larger Apple logo on the back for wireless charging and not the MagSafe 3 method. So I'm not sure if they could do both of those at the same time, but it's also important to note that the MagSafe 3 connector has five pins instead of four. So maybe that kind of disregards all of that, or maybe they come up with a new MagSafe with four pins. I'm not sure, but I think the wireless method is gonna be the one that I'm very excited to see. And that's because of this right here. As you can see, I made a couple of videos showing off wireless MagSafe charging where the actual Magic Keyboard itself has two charging coils so you can reverse wireless charge and accept charge through the MagSafe Magic Keyboard itself, like you can see right over here, the MagSafe puck charging the iPad Pro, as well as charging accessories like AirPods right on the back of the Magic Keyboard. And if you think that's crazy, we actually had a patent from Apple where they had wireless charging built into the case for the iPad Pro, and you can see that right here. Apple invents a future version of their Magic Keyboard that will be able to recharge an iPhone, Apple Watch, and more. You can see the image right here. It has the keyboard, it has two coils. Now, of course, it's not gonna look like this because they have different patents that don't really talk about the design, just the general idea. But the cool thing is, you can see right here, a possible future Magic Keyboard device for iPad that has a back portion that could be used to recharge other devices such as iPhone, Apple Watch, AirPods, Case, and more using magnets built into the housing, aligning with the coils, which is basically MagSafe. So with that said, I'm not exactly sure what method Apple is gonna go in terms of MagSafe charging and what that new smart connector is gonna mean, but I do think that it shows that we have a very high chance of Apple redesigning the Magic Keyboard completely from the ground up, which means that we are more likely to see wireless reverse charging MagSafe being built into the iPad Pro and the Magic Keyboard case. And as a bonus, that new four pin smart connector is going to probably charge up the iPad Pro faster, making the Thunderbolt port free for the other accessories. So if you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed this video, click the circle button to subscribe for more videos like this one, and definitely check out one of those two right there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.